Now, our next item is entirely different because it is the end of the show and it is time to turn to the world of music. Ben Goldstein has been on two major reality series and Gal Malka is a YouTube sensation. But the next report by Shanine Akhshoni, I-24 News reporter, tells their story. Let's take a look and meet them right afterwards. It's an Israeli story with an international flair. A story about two musicians whose road to the spotlights passed through YouTube and reality shows to platforms which have only existed for a few years. Um, so I did The Voice in Australia, obviously, uh, and I made it to the top 20. And then I came here and the same kind of thing happened. I went to Elat and I just went traveling and I played on the street and I had some fun and someone was like, you should just come over here and sign this and hop on this television show. I'm like, all right. Why not? Gal Malka is probably the most successful Israeli YouTuber after his previous single received 12 million views and counting, a record in Israeli terms, considering the fact that the entire Israeli population is only about 8 million. It's crazy to be a YouTube star, but I prefer to look at the long run because it might put me in a corner. But you have to start somewhere, and I'm very happy that it has to be this way. And Ben Goldstein, who was lucky enough to star in two different reality shows. The Voice Australia and X Factor Israel. The Israeli talent hunter found him after a tiring journey by foot from the Jordanian border to the southern city of Eilat. And I was like sweaty and wet and I'm hungry and thirsty and I'm like, ah, and I have a guitar. And I was like, I started to play for, to see maybe if I can make some money. And then there's really nice woman uh, came and she bought me a shawarma because it's all I really wanted, to be honest. And she's like, yeah, I work for this television show called X Factor. I'm like, oh, that's funny because I'm a musician. Now they accidentally met and created a new single in English with an American pop influence. Both the song and video are styled as international pop. We explored a few references for the clip, and one of them was Bruno Mars. But even with the internationality of the single, they say that the story behind it is what makes it so Israeli. It's the simplicity of our connection. He's an Australian guy who happened to be in Israel and played on the beach, and I just came up to him and asked him if he wants to play with me. I don't think it could have happened in any other place other than here in Israel. For the love is very different from Ben's preferred music styles, folk and blues, but it's not the only different experience for him in Israel. Israel is like the opposite of Australia. It's like rush, crazy, lachatz. You know, I love it. It's very different, and so... Um, I think there's a lot more value to life here because, because there's so much pressure to have to survive. So that's what I like about here, that every day kind of really counts. It seems sometimes that nowadays YouTube or reality TV are the only ways to succeed in the music industry. For those of you who don't necessarily see themselves in those places and still wish to become famous musicians, Ben has an important message. You never know where you're going to be, and that's the whole thing. Like, it's, it has nothing to do with the internet. There's just, that's one way. The most important thing is to do the music, and the music industry will find you. Well, Ben, first of all, you know, we're going to talk about your music really quickly. We're going to hear it, but anything, you know, the only thing that comes to mind is you met Seal. Yeah, yes. yeah, he's, so, a, yeah. he's a really the big like scary man. <laughs> yeah, you met Seal. I'm incredibly yeah. jealous. Why did you come to Israel? Uh, well, I, I guess there's like there's a lot of reasons. I suppose um, one of the reasons was just to to see the something different. You know, Australia is like I said, entirely you know, different. Yeah, Very it's completely different, different yeah. and, it's, and it's really great and all. And I'll probably grow up there later, but I really wanted to come here and experience it firsthand and live here. Like you know, my mom's from here originally, right. so. So I wanted to experience her lifestyle. What I grew up in in Australia in my home was a kibbutz house. You know, like that's just what it is. That's the style we're kibbutzniking. <laughs> like, you know, so. yeah, guys, like, like, yeah. like exactly, <laughs> as we do here all yeah, the time. Yeah. Look, I'm wondering the connection between you two is already heading overseas, isn't it? Yeah. Where? Um, actually, we met on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, no, but yeah. you've got. I mean, the music that you are creating together, and yeah. you're like a YouTube sensation, yeah. right? You turn people into YouTube sen sensations. Yeah. How do you do that? Um, I released a song uh, for the last uh, 
in the last year, in the summer. It's called uh, Bala Lirkod. Right. And, and we uh, were hearing that back in Australia. Just They got all the way to Australia. <laughs> all the way to the community in Australia. It was shock. Okay. Yeah, and it was a really big hit, hit in Israel in the end. And, and Ben, in, in terms of this collaboration, though, this music is head, this music that you, the two of you do, are doing here, though, is heading overseas as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, look, I mean, um, I, part of the reason that I was here is to kind of infiltrate the uh, European market of music. So that's kind of what I'm doing now, and and uh, this song kind of is coming with me there. That's what we're really lucky. It was good timing. It was good timing. Now, yeah. listen, I'm going to let you do that mojo, that, the, sorry, that voodoo that you do so well. Uh -huh. um, yes, I just quoted Sinatra. That's how old I am. <laughs> ah, <nice. laughs> but what are we going to listen to? Uh, we're going to listen to the song that we wrote together. Oh, any song, yeah. Yeah, it's called well, For the Love of Music. You're smiling. What? For the Love of Music. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, For the Love of Music, let's hear it. If you ever want to know where you came from If you got the reason to live this life I'm not going to pretend that I know it all But I've been taking all the chances to make it right Look at you when they tell me what you see ahead The whole world is a canvas painted white and With the colors in your hands you can change it all If you want it you got it and take it on your own Both feet on the ground I reach for the sky And I'm making a sound With my head held high No matter how far we keep on walking this line and we gonna put up a fight for the love of music it does really matter how you use it the love of music yeah, yeah, yeah. i said for the love of music it does really matter how to use it babe. oh da, 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 da. the rhythm into the vibe that we sit into the table is only what we chose to do and it's never too late to reevaluate the reason that you're breathing you got the gift so choose it use it do whatever you have to put don't abuse it share the love or maybe one day we can make some music reach for the sky but keep your feet on the ground and just remember when you make that sound it's for the love of music it doesn't really matter how you use it the love of music yeah, 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 yeah. i sit there for the love of of music it doesn't really matter how you use it I use it skid it to do 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 it I just Thank whistled, God. Ben. I think we have a second and a half because I'm not hearing anything in my in my ear, but that was phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you. And am amazing. Yeah. I think that you just started here a complete international career. This is it for us. Come back tomorrow morning. <laughs>